Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and interest in SRSI's now gen ASR technology we call Right Angle Fast Transfer or RAFT. My name is Chris York and I'm a co-founder and the Chief Operating Officer here at SRSI. If your company is looking to reduce labor dependency, RAF could be part of that answer. Applications range from cold storage to food manufacturing, consumer goods to 3PLs. Our unique ability to size and shape the solution into existing buildings and scale the RAF robots for throughput makes RAF one of the most versatile solutions on the market. Our typical design process begins with filling out a simple RAF questionnaire. The questionnaire allows us to understand the project from a high level and ask for inventory turns, product dimensions, number of pallets stored, product dimensions and SKUs, and a few operational details, such as building operating days, hours, and shifts. With just this basic information, SRSI can quickly determine if the RAF is a suitable solution for the customer's challenge. You can consider a RAF solution as a black box integration. SRSI's proprietary Swift Current system is a cloud-based solution. It's capable of handling all of the inventory functions you require with full audit trail capabilities, the same as a WMS. In fact, it can be used as a standalone WMS for most applications. Swift Current handles all of the product slotting, inventory date management, order management, and product retrieval for the RAF solution, seamlessly providing the pallets you need for active orders when you need them. Additionally, RAF can be configured and tailored to the business in several different ways. RAF can use conveyors, put wall, or staging lanes to load a RAF system. The inbound and outbound areas can be on opposite sides or share the same space. Retrieval of single pallets can be done via conveyor or pick wall setups, or entire loads can be staged in staging lanes to expedite truck loading. For case pick applications, SRSI can include pick tunnels to allow operators to pick cases from positions fed automatically by the RAF robots. These options drive more value to the project and less disruption to the operation. RAF technology allows an end user to get the benefits of ASRS without the purpose-built structures of traditional ASRS solutions. As a scalable solution on both size and throughput, it's hard to imagine ever outgrowing a RAF deployment. As needs and volumes change, additional storage locations, RAF robots, and vertical transfer units, VTUs, can be added to meet the new demands. In this way, RAF technology is less risk compared to traditional crane systems, which require much more planning to expand, and in many cases simply cannot be cost-effectively modified to address changing business needs. Our RAF unit is based on a 30-year-old pallet shuttle with thousands of those units deployed across the globe. SRSI has worked to add the right angle transfer function to that platform, creating the most durable multi-directional unit on the market. Every lesson learned in moving pallets over the last 30 years went into the RAF design, from rail geometry to placement methodology. The RAF system has the pedigree and the modern horsepower to meet most any customer requirement. If it's stored on a pallet, RAF can handle it. Steve Wilson is our resident Swift Current expert, and he'll be highlighting some of the key features of our software next. As the user logs into the Swift Current software platform, they will see an analytics dashboard customized by that user. There are many reports available for the dashboard display, including labor rates for the raft, open cycle counts, and aging sales orders, just to name a few. In addition, you can set each chart to refresh as often as you would like and display in the format of your choosing. Swift Current is able to control multiple raft units simultaneously assigning tests based on prioritization logic. The limitation is simply how many robots you physically have in the system. Within the Rex maintenance screen, you can find and change the status of any unit in your system if you need to make it unavailable for any reason or make it available again after it's been taken out of service. Here, you simply find the draft unit you wish to modify and press the edit button. For this demonstration, I'm going to take this unit out of service because it's been damaged. I'm going to select the drop-down box next to Robot Status, select Damaged, and then hit the Update button. As you can see, the RAF unit now shows a status of Damaged 
in the status column. In order for work to assign, Swift Current uses a scheduling program. Schedulers are set up by the customer for each day and for each data type. For example, if there is a purchase order file being sent from a transfer folder, a scheduler gets created to get that file and pull the data into the system. These schedulers can be set to run every couple minutes, every hour, once a day, etc. It's up to you. In the example here, we have a purchase order download that's scheduled to run on March 15th at 8 a.m. The scheduler is set to start at 8 and end at 11.59 p.m. and run every 39 minutes. Separate from the work scheduler is the RAF scheduler. In the screen, you can specify the time frame you want the RAFs to be available each day of the week. This is independent of the work scheduler set to pull in the data. As you can see in this screen, I'm only using the RAF units between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. on Monday because the rest of the time I am performing maintenance on the conveyor system. Once work is assigned, there is a viewpoint option that allows you to see all the work that each RAF unit is currently assigned, as well as its status. Rex Viewpoint gives you a complete and transparent view of all the tasks and subtasks that the RAF is assigned and a timestamp. In this example, you can see that I have one active RAF unit that is currently taking longer than anticipated, causing an alert. These alerts are configurable based on your requirements and can be set up to display and push out any way desired. In order to set up an alert, the user will go into their alert maintenance screen and create a new one. You can choose any type of alert you would like and then set it up to shoot out emails to groups of people and edit it as desired. In this example, we will look at the inventory alert setup. In this example, you can see that I've set up an inventory alert to generate every time there's an aging cycle count task greater than one hour. This alert will push out a quantity of aging cycle count tasks to users defined in an email group. And within the Swift Current platform, from any screen, I can click the Home button and go back to my Analytics dashboard.